guys today is 2nd of february it might be our first vlog on this youtube channel a few days before around week the coronavirus spread it and started in here now how is the situation here i'm wondering because i didn't went outside around one week and my boyfriend's wish because today is his birthday his wish is to go outside to the city center and see how is the situation i hope it's not his last wish see you in the city center let's go and see how is it in metro if there is someone and if people are wearing masks and look ridiculous as us as you can see this gate in front of our apartment is closed they closed all the gates besides one but we can still walk around and go to the city center as you can see there is no one around the streets are pretty clean and they, we are just two crazy people going to take a metro go to the city center here we are at the metro station, it's pretty much empty and we have to wait around 9 minutes for the next metro. We are at the metro station and currently besides us there is only one person waiting for metro. Other people are working here and they are checking the temperature so they want to make sure that everyone working here is fine. As you can see, there are still few people taking metro, not so many, but actually that is pretty nice because we have enough space. Wow, it's pretty empty here. And actually, if you are wondering about that and the numbers, because it might seem very scary, there are people dying from this illness, but actually it's only around 2% and from the study i read the last day well, most of the cases are people with chronic illnesses so it's not that scary but the issue of this coronavirus it's it's spreading way too fast and in wuhan and hubei province there are not enough medical supplements this is the biggest issue we are facing right now and i really hope it can be solved soon so let's change the metro and look at the nobody because there is almost no one. All right, now we are at People's Square and here in the middle of the subway you can watch your videos and these videos will teach you how to properly wash your hands and how to wear your mask which I find very useful because not everyone knows the correct way so it might help. at the busiest street in the Shanghai. We are at East Nanjing Road and you might feel like there are many people but come on this is China. There are maybe a few hundred people on the streets. Usually you cannot see anything because we only see people everywhere but today you see many shops. Many shops are open but many are closed. For example Legoland is closed. I feel like the whole shopping mall is open but the Lego is closed. As you can see, the streets are pretty clean. They are cleaning it every few hours and seems like everyone is quite alright. No one is panicking and people are wearing their masks. Everyone is taking care of themselves and about their health. I feel like they will get better over time. And these days I want to buy a new mobile phone, but the Apple store is closed in the middle of the... Nanjing East Road. That's pity because I really want to buy a new mobile phone. So the store will be closed until February 9th. But I don't plan on buying Apple mobile phones. So it's okay, I can buy Huawei. So you might be wondering why there are not that many people as usually in China and why some shops are closed. Actually, because one of the reasons is because it was Lunar New Year few days before and now 
because of the coronavirus outbreak the holidays are extended until 9th of February people are not working everyone is sitting home and relaxing this is one of the most busiest crossroads in Shanghai but maybe not today as you can see and if you look at the rate outside from the Hubei province it's very low it's less than one percent for example, in Zhujiang province, where I'm studying and where is my university, uh, there are around 800 people infected, which is pretty much high number. But no one has died and some people have been already discharged from the hospital. And in my boyfriend's hometown, he lives in Tsinghua, that is close to the Hangzhou where I'm studying. There are five people which have been infected, but the numbers are not increasing anymore. It's been the same for the last four or five days. So here we are at the band. The weather is not so nice, but there are not so many people. So usually when I arrive from here, I have to walk at least 10 minutes so I can go at the bridge and see the view. But now I don't have to walk. I can directly come and see everything of what I want. So this was my boyfriend wish to come here for his birthday and see the view. But I don't feel like he wanted to see the view, he wanted to see how many people are around and if people are wearing masks and as we can see 95% of the people are wearing masks so it seems like everyone is taking precautions, everyone is taking care. It's very hard to <laughs> put these glasses on. Oh my god. So you might be asking why we didn't leave the Shanghai when we could and why we stayed. Actually at the first two days at 23rd and 24th I was very scared and I was checking flights and thinking about coming home but then uh, I realized like it's not that good idea to take plane maybe that will be more dangerous than staying at home and also I didn't want to leave my boyfriend because he's only one person living here without me I feel like if we are two people together we can be stronger and we can help each other if something bad happens and actually the security is really strict they are taking care like they are taking your oh, you're taking your tea bread and free shirt. Oh my god, he just, my boyfriend just sneezed and we are done. Oh, so security is very strict, they're taking temperatures. Like my boyfriend went from his home to Shanghai and his temperature was there, took three times. And next day they called him three times also and checked if it's all right. Seems like maybe not <laughs> but like in every block they are checking everyone who is living and in china it is a little bit issue but now it's very working for us there are cameras everywhere so now they can check everyone who was in contact with the infected person and then they can put them also into quarantine so that the virus wouldn't spread so that's why i didn't leave I don't feel like it's that dangerous, I don't feel like we should panic. Oh, there is food everywhere, you don't have to worry. Actually, I can only see the situation here in Shanghai, but also Hangzhou. What are we going to go now? To go my bar. I found my new best friend. So cute! I want to buy it. Oh, I will tell you how much is it. Thirty-nine yuan. It's very cheap. For one, this cozy, cute Pikachu. Pika, pika. If you feel like you want to waste your money, there are still few places where you can waste them. Actually, not many people are shopping because I don't feel like many people feel like they want to buy new things. So here we are inside of the one of the shopping malls in the city center. And Hey Tea is one of the most desired and popular brands of bubble tea. Usually you have to wait around one hour to get tea, but today, no today. Actually, there are still many people waiting, but me and my boyfriend, we waited only for five minutes to get this tea. Actually, it's like the flavors are very nice. The most popular is peach bubble tea, and we usually buy everything just by using APP. 
the prices are around 4 5 euro so it's not the cheapest bubble tea but it's actually good quality so it's worth it here we go we bought mooncake flavor and it tastes like butter but sweet nice butter after that we decided to go back home and as you can see on the lift they disinfect everything even buttons and then we took one package because i bought parcel one week before and i had to wait for a very long time because usually it takes around two days because it was lunar new year i had to wait a long time so okay guys i'm back home my skin looks all right the mask didn't damage my skin that much it's not that terrible before i didn't notice but actually this mask can damage your skin it looks a little bit scary but i feel very much sorry for the doctors and nurses which have to deal with this every day and wear a mask for 24 hours so i put all my stuff on one chair to make sure that my clothes and everything i wore it's not touching other stuff and what is this this is my quiet let's see what i did get here we go yes so these are korean ks94 masks only three of them oh my goodness uh, i feel like there might be more i feel like i bought more but i only received three maybe there are more in one package but now masks are on demand but you can still buy them also chinese government decided to send masks to everybody at home so the people especially older generation they wouldn't gather in front of the pharmacies i think this is the best idea what they can do and thank you so much for watching this vlog hope you like it and see you next time don't forget to subscribe bye bye